and good morning. Today is the 23rd and it's on a Sunday, 23rd of April, 2017. Now we've completed chapter one of the Songs of Songs and today we are moving on chapter two of the Songs of Songs. And this is what it says. I am a rose of Sharon, a lily of the valleys. I am a rose of Sharon, a lily of the valleys. Now, when I wanted to expand on this verse i thought of roses beautiful flowers now when i've been researching some people have said it wasn't actually a rose but it's a flower and to me flowers are beautiful they carry all the colors the beauty i mean they reflect so much from the sun that sometimes you cannot even be able to describe the beauty of the colors and the hues that come from flowers now for the roses, I have kind of looked into the symbolism of the roses and this is what people have said it means, that each color of a rose symbolizes something special. For example, a red rose symbolizes love and then it signifies passion. A white rose represents humility and innocence. A yellow rose represents friendship. Those are just but a few. The pink one, gratitude and appreciation and admiration the orange shows enthusiasm and the lilac purple represent enchantment and love at first sight all the colors they're beautiful they have a meaning being a rose it's a wonderful thing for god to see you in that context when god looks at you he sees you as a rose there's a song we normally sing that jesus was a rose that was trampled on for my sake it just was trampled on and it like it's like the essence of it was destroyed. But in actual sense, the colors were still shining. The red rose that symbolized love was still there because he was doing what he was doing for my sake. So the songs of songs, it's me saying that or it's the bride saying that I am the rose of Sharon. And then I am a lily of the valleys. And then I looked again at the meaning of lilies. And they symbolize humility, devotion, and they're kind of the flowers that are used for anniversaries, even to represent death, because they symbolize or they put that signature that there is a connection with the beloved. There is a connection between the person that is given the rose and the person that is giving, not the rose this time around, the lilies. So... It's wonderful for you to look at yourself as that beautiful flower. I know flowers are not long lasting because we've only been given a limited time on this earth. But for you to see yourself in that beauty and essence of a rose and then a lily, it kind of combines everything. You are reflecting Christ. You are the resemblance of Christ. And I've heard people say the rose of Sharon and the lily of the valley is Jesus. But if you become one with Jesus, you start becoming like him, then you are united with him and you've been made complete. You've, give, you've been given the eternal life. As he was trampled on like a rose, he wasn't completely shattered. Remember when we came out of the Easter weekend, we said he is risen, he is alive. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. Appreciate what God has created you to be. Shine like a rose, like a flower. But know this, that God revives his flowers. I've heard from those who have had near-death experiences that the flowers in heaven, they sing a song. And one day I want to sing a song among the flowers. God bless you. I am a rose of Sharon, the lily of the valleys. God loves you. You too are the rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed Sunday and be uplifted. Know that God loves you so much. God bless you.